After decades of chasing progress in incremental steps, the Chinese People's Liberation Army Air Force now stands on the threshold of fielding what may be the world's first sixth-generation fighter, dubbed the J-50. This advanced air dominance fighter is said to usher in a new era of low observable stealth, artificial intelligence-enabled operations and system of systems warfare. Today, we break down everything you need to know about the J-50, China's ambitious foray into sixth-generation technologies and its implications for the future of aerial combat. Let's get started. Design and capabilities at the heart of the J-50. Program is the drive to develop a platform that pushes the boundaries of what is possible in modern airframe design. Several features stand out as hallmarks of this groundbreaking fighter. Firstly, its Talus Delta Wing configuration with a blended body design minimizes radar signature from nearly all angles. This approach eliminates traditional vertical stabilizers, which create a large radar cross-section, especially from the side. Instead, the J-50 relies on deeply recessed control surfaces and advanced aerodynamics to generate lift and manage airflow. Additionally, Shaping techniques incorporated into the fuselage and wings are believed to make extensive use of radar-absorbent materials, going beyond traditional ram coatings. It is possible that they utilize metamaterials engineered at a subwavelength scale to manipulate electromagnetic waves and bend radar emissions away from the aircraft. This low observability is further enhanced by embedded sensor arrays, control surfaces and air intakes that minimize gaps and joints that could compromise stealth. A thrust-vectoring nozzle capable of supercruising at speeds above, Mach 2 without afterburner is at the heart of the J-50's proposed design. This technological feat would be achieved using adaptive cycle engines that can switch between high but high thrust modes and efficient cruise settings. Optimizing performance depending on the mission profile, such variable cycle propulsion would enable the J-50 to fly for extended ranges without refueling. Estimated figures suggest a potential operational range of over 2,500 kilometers, making it ideal for long-range strike and patrol missions deep into enemy territory. This feature provides China with the ability to perform strike operations far beyond its own airspace, enabling it to project power over vast distances if needed. Weapons and sensor systems The J-50's offensive capabilities are expected to include a combination of traditional and cutting-edge weaponry. Internally housed missiles and bombs would ensure stealth during combat ingress and egress, reducing vulnerability to enemy defenses. This arsenal could comprise long-range air-to-air missiles such as the PL-15E, and short-range dogfight missiles like the PL-10C for air-to-ground missions. The J-50 might employ precision-guided munitions including small diameter, bombs and anti-ship missiles tailored for maritime strike roles. Notably, the aircraft could also carry directed energy weapons, such as high-powered microwaves for disabling enemy electronics or even solid-state lasers for intercepting incoming missiles or drones. These advanced weapons are rumored to be powered by next-generation high-energy capacitors or hybrid electric turbine generators seamlessly integrated into the airframe, reducing logistical burdens and enhancing operational efficiency. The J-50 sensor systems are expected to be equally advanced, utilizing quantum radar technology or other forms of passive detection systems, capable of tracking stealth targets at long range without revealing its own position. This would offer a significant advantage in locating fifth-generation fighters or low observable U advanced IRST or infrared search and track systems, lidarlic sensors and multispectral data fusion would grant the aircraft the ability to identify and track targets in heavily contested or electronically jammed environments. Additionally, the J-50 would likely integrate synthetic aperture radar and ground mapping capabilities, providing excellent air-to-ground performance, including suppression of enemy air defenses and close air support operations. Artificial Intelligence Integration The J-50 is at the forefront of integrating artificial intelligence into military aviation. This fighter is not merely equipped with AI-assisted systems, but is built around them. Key areas where AI is expected to play a pivotal role include mission planning and threat analysis. By feeding vast amounts of data into sophisticated algorithms, the aircraft can rapidly assess threat environments, predict enemy movements and optimize its own position and actions to gain the upper hand. Furthermore, AI is instrumental in sensor fusion combining inputs from various onboard sensors to create a comprehensive and real-time picture of the battle space. This helps the pilot focus on critical elements while the AI filters out extraneous information, reducing cognitive load and improving situational awareness. Perhaps the most intriguing aspect is how AI will impact electronic warfare. The J-50 is rumored to have the ability to spoof or replicate the radar signatures of friendly aircraft, confusing enemy radar systems and potentially luring enemy fighters into traps. Unmanned systems integration The JFFT isn't just a fighter, it's envisioned as a force multiplier through its ability to control and coordinate swarms of loyal wingman drones. These loyal wingmen can be used for tasks ranging from reconnaissance to suppression of enemy air defenses, 
electronic warfare and direct attack missions. They could be launched from internal bays or nearby support platforms and managed through Hybin with data links encrypted with quantum-resistant algorithms. This integration allows the J-50 to extend its reach and combat effectiveness without risking its primary airframe. It's a concept that aligns with China's overall military strategy of developing a networked, multi-domain force capable of operating seamlessly across different domains of warfare, electronic warfare and survivability in the realm of electronic warfare. The J-50 is expected to be a formidable force. It'll likely feature an integrated EW suite capable of active radar jamming, communication interception and electronic deception techniques. By understanding enemy radar patterns, the aircraft can deploy countermeasures to disrupt enemy targeting systems or lure their weapons off course. Advanced decoy drones or towed jamming arrays can further confuse incoming missiles or enemy fighters, making it difficult for adversaries to lock onto the J-50. Moreover, the J-50's survivability is enhanced by its low observability, electronic warfare capabilities and defensive systems. Despite its stealth characteristics, it's also expected to carry directional infrared countermeasures, advanced chaff and flare dispensers and electronic decoys to confuse incoming attacks. Additionally, the aircraft's high speed and maneuverability allow it to quickly evade threats or maneuver into advantageous positions. The use of redundant flight controls, data pathways and self-healing networks ensures continued operation even if the aircraft is damaged. Production and Logistics While details regarding the production of the J-50 remain scarce, it's anticipated that its manufacture will leverage China's robust defense industrial complex. The emphasis will be on modular design principles, additive manufacturing and digital twin simulations to facilitate rapid prototyping and cost control. This approach will not only enable the swift deployment of new aircraft, but also facilitate continuous iteration of onboard systems without requiring physical recalls of the airframe. Such a system allows China to field incremental upgrades through software and system swaps, ensuring the J-50 remains relevant and adaptable for decades. Doctrine and strategy The J-50 embodies a paradigm shift in how China conceptualizes warfare, aligning with its military vision of integrated multi-domain combat. This philosophy emphasizes information dominance and physical destruction. The J-50 is envisioned as an extension of a broader strategic apparatus, enabling joint operations across land, sea, air, space and cyberspace. Whether conducting high-risk penetration strikes, commanding a drone swarm or denying enemy access to communication networks, the J-50 is a flexible and adaptable platform ready for 21st century conflict scenarios. Conclusion The J-50 represents a giant leap forward in military aviation, promising a future where air dominance is defined by low observability, artificial intelligence, multi-domain operations and unmanned systems integration. If the rumors and patents are any indication, this fighter could outperform its closest rivals and redefine the very nature of aerial combat. While much about the J-50 remains shrouded in secrecy, one thing is clear, China has set its sights on nothing less than global air superiority. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content.